Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to War on the Sea, a new game out by Killerfish Games, the developers of Cold Waters and Atlantic Fleet. In today's episode, we are playing part number 39 of my Allied Let's Play series, where we're playing as the Allied forces in Operation Watchtower, the Battle of Guadalcanal, and so far the campaign isn't going very well. The Japanese have managed to land substantial forces near Port Moresby. They've landed substantial forces near Milne Bay on the eastern coast of New Guinea, as well as the Santa Cruz Islands. We've also landed on Guadalcanal, but then we were driven from that place in order to try and reinforce our positions elsewhere. With that being said, we've done a tremendous amount of damage to the Japanese fleet, uh, destroying the Congo battleship, damaging the Yamato previously, and sinking almost the entire heavy cruiser task force uh, or heavy cruiser force of the Japanese Navy. So their surface task forces are suffering serious damage and attrition, and at this point, uh, the Japanese Navy's uh, losses likely mean that a counteroffensive for the Allies is in the cards, although if the Japanese are able to build up their land-based air power to a point that might make it cost-prohibitive for me to try and challenge them, it is possible that they might be able to maintain their control on these possessions. Uh, Port Moresby will probably fall to them, Santa Cruz as well, but we do think we'll win at Milne Bay and then use those troops to retake both the prior-mentioned objectives. With that being said, this was taken from a live stream from a channel from over a month ago now, I think. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into this live stream, and we have just spotted the greatest battleship ever made, the largest battleship ever made in any event, the Japanese battleship Yamato, or at least a battleship of the Yamato class. There were two. There was the Yamato and the Masashi. So we'll see how this plays out. We've got a carrier task force launching strikes against her, and we'll see if we can't finish the Yamato off. Uh, or even damage her. We haven't even done that, that yet. This is our initial attack with some Avenger torpedo bombers against the Japanese battleship Yamato. Once I order the attack... Now we must pray to the Mark 14, or what is it, Mark 13 gods, or whatever the hell the name of the air launch torpedo is. Blood for the bad torpedo gods. We must pray. Pretty good spotting in the <laughs> job by these these aircraft in the bad weather. The Avengers eventually did have radar, but I don't think they would have by this point. I can't even see them, so I don't... I guess pilots got better eyes than me. Oh, there they are. Very faint. thought it was dust on my monitor. Oh, did I order this one guy out on his own? I did, didn't I? Lol. Alright, let's pause. I'm gonna order them all in for the attack now. I don't think classifying the ship makes a difference for air attack, so... Everybody, you're gonna attack... ...the Yamato. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge... ...because we're gonna be attacking inside a circle formation. So our ships are going to have to pass right over an enemy ship, and I really should have thought through this. Actually, no. This will work out. The destroyer is on the flank with the more with more of the Avengers. Attacking this cruiser might have been an easier, easier, easier option, but 
This guy's just like, I'm doing it on my own, boys. I could just ram the Yamato with Avengers, but that doesn't feel as satisfying now, does it? We'll stick with the lead guy. I guess the one good thing is he may eat flak that other aircraft would have taken on their way in. The bad thing is he may cause the enemy ship to change formation before the rest of my, my guys are in place. Nope, he didn't even get his torpedo off. Oh, fudge. All right, other aircraft are coming in. So I guess the, the good thing is, again, he, he ate a bunch of fire and let these guys, they didn't shift fire till basically just now. And they're already like on top of the, uh, of the Yamato. Fisher away. The enemy, some, I guess they just know that we've already dropped our torpedoes, and so they've switched their fire to the other side of the anvil attack. Looks like one of our aircraft got shot down before the Fisher out, but I think we still got three torpedoes out. Oh boy, this looks good. Look at that. Look at all of these, these fish coming in. I think we had a couple duds. One dud, two dud, but one, two, three, four torpedoes. One of them went under the damn thing? Might hit that cruiser over there. <laughs> it is. It's going to go into this cruiser if it's not a dud. Did it run out of juice? Huh. Wonder if it ran out of uh, energy. So four hits, two duds. Not sure if that's enough. Did they all hit on one side though? I'm confused. Did one of our groups not drop? Is there any way to see what ar armament you have left? Well, one of our groups got completely wiped out. Five through eight. So maybe they just didn't get their... I don't know. Three of the torpedoes on the other end of the anvil didn't get their fish out. All right. And the one that did was a dud. Okay. Well, let's take a look and see how Yamato's doing. She's broken out of formation. Let's fast forward here. I don't think four fish will be enough to sink her, but we could be wrong. It's 42. She's definitely not moving well. She's barely able to turn. Doesn't have much weight on her. Probably not enough to sink her. Good thing is we've got 10 Dauntlesses also on the way in. Not really listing either, yeah. Alright, well, we'll just jump out. Minor damage? Really? Okay. My Avengers can't fly that far enough. I don't know how one North Carolina and a Pensacola would fare against the Yamato. But if she's damaged, maybe better? Alright, you guys should really RTB. Where did the enemy ships go? Or is this part of like one of those timers shit I didn't get to engage now it's dark so I guess we'll see if we run into him 
Guadalcanal's up to a level 2 airfield. Yep. Task Force 5. A night battle with the Yamato. The lightly damaged Yamato versus the North Carolina and the Pensacola. I can't... I don't have a choice, guys. We got radar. We're good. Does the Yamato have radar? You guys are making... You're too dramatic. I have faith in my boys. So we're just going to assume, like, the reason this battle occurred is our very confident flyboys were like, we put four torpedoes in her! And so they're like, all right, boys, we're going to go finish her off with guns. Damn right, bulldozer. If we even detect them. This is saying zero, so maybe they're not even in close. Don't depend on the radar. They're far away. Bold man, yeah, I believe it's one dev, and I think he paid for, like, he probably contracted some of the artwork. But I think in terms of, like, full FTEs, I think it's just one guy. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we're going to find him. I mean, we could fast forward here and see. All right, well... I thought this was going to be exciting, but it doesn't look like we're going to end up fighting him here. Mad Hind, thank you very much for the uh, the sub. Appreciate it. And XB442 for the follow, as well as Jimmo Soul. I can't remember who I all thanked, but... Let us be our TZ. Thank you very much, or TV. Thank you for the follow. And... Bearded Phobos. Thank you for the follow. Well, I mean, I'm sailing north, boys. We're sailing here. No. I don't want to, like, tempt fate and force an engagement. So we'll just leave. We'll, we'll, we'll double back, and then maybe we'll move forward in the, in the morning. The carrier, meanwhile, I can't launch aircraft, but I lost half my torpedo armament. I still have my full complement of Dauntlesses, though. So we're going to keep the carrier back by Rennell Island, have the extra 12 Wildcats in immediate cover. By the way, where are we at in terms of these cargo ships arriving? All right, so they're basically there. Let's just get them a little bit closer. So we're doubling our battleships back. All right, so it looks like we're going to have another battle here. Now it's 2,300 hours, so it's even more nighttime. Let's unload our cargo, though. Oh, we're not within six nautical miles. All right, how are we doing troop-wise? We're down to 8,000 at Milne Bay. All right, let's go ahead and begin the fight. I should have switched them into line formation, really. I think. Well, this one's not letting me get out. It's got 180 seconds, so I'm going to guess that we're uh, in close with them now. Within within range.
Okay. So, still nothing? I can just leave now? Because I don't really want to fight this battle at night. Alright. Keep getting drawn into these, these fights that I can't fight. Alright, so we unloaded the cargo, so Milne Bay now has some supply. Not enough for maximum efficiency, but enough to at least get the, the boys shooting their cartridges at the Japanese soldiers there again. Okay, so we'll fast forward a little bit again. Our battleships are retreating south. I'll be curious to see if the Japanese make a push on us. We keep getting drawn into battles here with Task Force 5. The circle formation seems like a good idea if we're worried there might be submarines around, although not ideal for a surface engagement. Again, 180 seconds. It's now after midnight. Koopcher 36, Malgnar, and thank you also for the follows. Alright, so I, I don't know. We keep getting pulled into these fights... And then there's no indication that the enemy is even nearby. And I'm sure they're within the circle, but I don't want to fight the Japanese at night here. So I'm just going to pretend I'm ignorant. Let's also change this formation to line ahead. Put the destroyers in the van. Now that I've got the chance to do that. With the North Carolina in the rear. That way I can break my DDs off to do a torpedo run. Do a death ride of the, you know, the charge of the light brigade, or in this case, the destroyers. God damn it. They're going to keep luring me in. Another fight. Now it's 1.20 a.m. I don't think they're that fast, though, to be able to... Well, maybe they are. I guess I'm fast. I think was the the Yamato wasn't a fast battleship though, was it? Didn't it like make 24 knots? On the high end of the slow battleships, we're starting to get more moonlight. Well, at least it looks like it on the map, but maybe not. It says 29% visibility. Sea state six. They were in strike range of my carrier before, but. Yep, I'm not going to fight you if you don't make me. I'll wait for visibility in the daylight. We're almost there. Three o'clock. Question is, where are they headed? All right, almost 4 a.m., so I think we might start getting sunlight coming up. I don't know what counts as night for the Japanese nighttime bonus. Visibility still just 29%, but we spotted him. There she is, directly behind us. All right, Porter, let's cross the T. Concentrate fire on Yamato. Well, that's a great start. Those salvos landed right alongside. Can we retreat? <laughs> oh, boy. Star shells coming up. Was that a hit? Did we already take a hit? Jesus Christ, that was fast and accurate. Well, at least we know it's a Yamato. Makes it easier to identify the damn thing. <laughs> 
in your experience, if Yamato hits you, you're fucked. Another hit. Jesus Christ, how does she have that accurate of fire control? Or fire sol control? That... Urgh. I don't really want to fight this yet. I want to get out of this fight. Also, by the way, her rate of fire is absurd. Three salvos in less than a, mi less than a minute? Yeah, I don't know about that. Maha, they... It's still just outside 10,000 yards. We're listing. Still says minor, though. I don't want to hit back because if I hit the attack button, then I completely have to restart my withdraw timer. Alright, that salvo, less accurate. Could be a cruiser, I guess. I didn't think about that. Multiple hits there. Those are pretty big shell splashes. No flooding, minor damage. It did destroy the director, though, which is not good from a fire control perspective. Or maybe not destroyed, but badly damaged. Alright, we are 40 seconds from being able to get out of here. How fast are we going, anyway? We're only going eight knots, really? Why are we going so slow, boys? Oh, we're waiting for the turn. That's why. We're turning in line. More star shells. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Scooch it. All right, we took... Minor damage on the North Carolina. Nothing substantial. The Yamato still has minor damage as well. She also still has minor flooding from those torpedo hits. Alright, so we are one hour from sunup. The one thing we really don't want to do is have the Yamato run into our carrier task force in the daylight. Alright, so it's 5.03. Get the aircraft airborne, boys. Get those wildcats up. Go find them. Uh, get my spotting planes up. They're probably right on our ass, I would imagine. And we're going to instantly get the... The Avengers, the Dauntless is up. We're going to hover here for a brief period, and then we're going to launch the Avengers. We're going to try and go in on a coordinated strike. Where the hell did they go? Where the hell did they go? Get our Dauntlesses out that way and our Avengers. We should still have the range. There's no way they pulled that far back that fast. They were like here like two hours ago. Do they go north of the island? It's been well over an hour, though. Enemy sub. I'm very confused. Uh, enemy dive bombers. Can the Enterprise get its fighters up? Yeah, okay.
Are we going to be in range of our shipping? We are. Fuck. So our carriers... I hate the way that this works. Like, I scramble aircraft, send them up there, and now the carriers are going to be in range of getting dive-bombed. But if the enemy bombers start behind me, I'm going to be pissed. Just in case, we'll send them back. Wait, pause, there they are. Thank God. We got them, boys. Don't even let them get their bombs off. Carrier should stay safe. Looks like there's two groups, or maybe just one, of dive bombers. Like, they should be diving on these guys, not slow turning in front of them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh The two-dimensional nature of uh, air combat in this game is beyond a little bit bewildering. All right, first pass, we got one of them. How did they not get any of them here? Second pass, you're kidding me. Oh my god, you guys. There we go, got another. They're escorting them? Yeah, I guess. Um, Alright, third going down. We haven't lost a Wildcat yet, so that's good news. Come on, boys. Get the last one. Got him. Alright. Aircraft, I want you also... Now you're going to go and attack the enemy float plane, which is great. So the enemy sub will lose its aircraft as well. Who did I hire as fighter pilots? You know, anyone who was willing to jump in a, in a crate. I think that's clearly the evidence so far. Are you willing to fly? Yes? Okay, well then you've got the job. Alright. So the carrier remains safe. We obliterate the enemy air, atta air attack on the way in. We're going to move the carrier east. Or actually, we'll move it west a little bit. In case that enemy sub is still around. I, I don't know what to do here. Like, I don't... Let's launch more Kingfishers, I guess. Like, could they have gone east? Watch they have, like, an invasion task force barreling down on New Hebrides. I mean, I've sent wildcats north. I don't, I don't know what you're looking for me to do. Enemy fighters. I don't really want to engage those fighters. I shot the bombers down. Guadalcanal only has a level two airfield, so there's no torpedo bombers. Still no indication of where the hell these guys went. They, they obviously are a long way gone now, I would think. Uh, Borsh, you can only launch one fighter or one group of aircraft from a ship like every hour or something like that. So yes, you could split the groups up, but you'd have to break up their launch intervals. Certainly something you could do. All right, let's do this. Let's launch these Avengers with rockets and go after that sub before it gets in too close.
pretty good weather and good visibility, you'd think. All right, pause. We're pretty close to right on top of this guy. All right, let's go get him. We do have to do one loop, so hopefully it's not... Sometimes they seem to dive surprisingly fast, so hopefully that's not the case here. Dive planes are angled down. All right, the Avengers are coming in. Four of them right here. Come on, rocket boys. It looks like all those rockets overshot, although maybe two hit direct on. Second wave came in, got another hit on it. Slipped below the waves. All right, we got him. Good job, boys. At least the Avenger air crew found something. All right, let's have... We don't have a heavy cruiser there, do we? So do we have... Let's send two Wildcats. I don't want to send the entire group because if they send another fighter or dive bomber attack on us, I want to spot it. We're going to send these guys a little bit further north of Rennell. I suppose they could have slipped south of us, but that doesn't seem terribly likely either. Where the hell did these guys go? Alright. I don't really want to engage enemy fighters, but I can't risk that they might also have dive bombers. Looks like it's just enemy fighters. Maybe they're trying to strafe the the shipping. We'll see. Yeah, they're going to come in and try and strafe. I don't really want to lose my air crew here, so but I don't want them to damage my my air my aircraft carrier even slightly. So we'll we'll have them go down and engage. Meanwhile, they're in flak range, so the Atlanta is hammering them. It would have been nice if my anti-aircraft had taken down a couple of the enemy aircraft before the fighters engaged. But they're outnumbered three to one, so hopefully that means they do good. This one aircraft is, is asking to die, though, to flak. It's just like doing circles in front of the, the Atlanta here.
Could be a sweep in front of a bomber wave lake. One enemy fighter shot down just now. Looks like one of our wildcats is smoking. They're still flying through walls of flak. Alright, we got a second enemy zero. Two zeros down. God, their turning and shooting is so bad. Alright, third zero down. So far we haven't lost an aircraft. Which again, we outnumbered them three to one, even if they've got better aircraft. You'd think we'd do pretty well in the fight. Although, you'd think maybe they would bug out. Maybe four zeros wouldn't try to attack a aircraft carrier group all by themselves. Alright, we got them without loss. Hell yeah! Alright, let's exit out of this fight. So I'm still kind of bewildered as to where the enemy uh, shipping went. I'm a little bit worried that like there's some sort of invasion somewhere, some task force, again, at like New Hebrides or something like that, that maybe we didn't spot. Enemy submarines spotted? God damn it. I thought we just sank their one of their last subs. Well, hopefully they don't put fish into the goddamn Enterprise. Anybody see any torpedoes? There we go. Enemy fish incoming off to the right. All right, Enterprise flank speed turn away I'm gonna turn the destroyer mainly just to get it out of there Atlanta also actually do we keep Atlanta on our current course just to eat a fish or two for the for the carrier probably not all right so let's do this All right. Curious, it looks like they're shooting for the carrier, I would guess. That's a lot of fucking fish, by the way. I don't know that we're going to be able to dodge those. They're also pretty fucking fast.
Oh, I didn't mean to send my destroyer into harm's way, but I guess she did her job. She ate a fish. All right, let's pause. So she's going to die, right? Probably. All right. Dead stop. Rudder midship. Maybe you can at least hear the enemy sub for us. Slow down here and pick her up. Carrier's maneuvering to avoid, but she's going to eat probably three of these fish. I'm just not sure. Is it better off to try and speed out ahead? We'll probably avoid the rearmost fish. I don't know. Try turning back into the fish. We might get these guys to go behind us if we can if our rudder bites enough. So these guys have fifty five percent torpedo defense. but not toward the, the absolute stern of the ship. No defense there. All right. One miss. Ugh, one hit. No torpedo protection there, by the way. Two hits. I think that's all there will be. Heavy damage and flooding to the Enterprise. We'll want to slow her down to give damage control parties some time. Unlikely that the Japanese have duds. I mean, they have some, but not many, I guess is my point. Oh, huh. And one of our destroyers took a fish. Good job, I guess. God, that was a devastating, uh... All right, let's pause here. So, what are we going to do here? You straighten out, I think, midship. I'm going to turn off active sonar and see if anybody is going to hear anything. Let's turn off our active sonar and see if we do better with passive, because so far no detections. Yeah, I know the Atlanta has sonar. I've already clicked the retreat button. I'd like to try and find the guy. Low in the water in the rear of the Enterprise. Very low in the water. Do we not have other... Oh, there's zero integrity, so we can't do anything about that. If 
fuck. No one can hear anything? Nothing? I tried turning the sonar back on to see if that would make a difference. If you drop to two knots, will you pick her up then? Go all passive, everybody. Clear the water, let us hear. Yeah. Yeah, this feels very, like, Saratoga-esque. Alright, can I get out yet? I guess we'll just leave, because I couldn't find him. I could have put more effort behind it, but frankly, I just wanted to get my two badly damaged destroyers and my crippled carrier out. So, flank speed. Well, we found him. Um... Get the event, get the Dauntlesses out. We'll send the Avengers when I can. All right, Wildcats, this one's on you. I need you to eat up this these enemy fighters here to clear the way for my my stuff. Can the Enterprise launch another wave yet? No, another three tenths of an hour. It's going to be very close to nightfall, but we'll have our Wildcats fight these enemy fighters first. Well, they can't see them. They're literally right behind them. Uh, no, the Dauntlesses didn't sink the Yamato, I don't think. The Dauntlesses were largely out of service by the time the Yamato was sunk. Ah, we lost a Wildcat already. By the way, these are fighters out of Rennell, so at least the good news is they're not, uh... They're not carrier fighters, which come in limited quantities. Yamato took a whole bunch of torpedoes, which were not not the result of Dauntlesses for sure. Can we get any of them? We've lost one wildcat. God, I wish I could fast forward these damn fights. Alright, we got one of them. I was shooting in my own plane, wasn't I? Yep.
Is the AI only capable of targeting one enemy plane at a time? Because that seems weird. Let me take command of this guy. Oh, well, but he's just not turning. Okay. God, these air battles. I could really do without them. All right, we'll shot down a third enemy aircraft, so we've shot down three and lost one. Or two. So that means down to their last fighter. This is so exciting, but not really, because the air battles kind of suck. Fly through my bullets. Got him. All right, that should be it. All right, so we'll have our fighters go back and hover over the Yamato. All right, these guys out of fuel? They are. I might be able to get them engaged. Alright, send the Avengers. 360. She should be easy, ra easily in range. Can my B-17s, are they alive? Can they get up there? They can. Alright, let's get the B-17s up there also. Everything in the kitchen sink. Go get the Yamato. Well, we think we've already damaged the Yamato pretty substantially, but we'll see if that's true in our next episode as we continue the attacks on her. Unfortunately, the U.S. carrier Enterprise has suffered some serious damage, so what that likely means is this attack of Dauntlesses and perhaps that attack of B-17s, which I've thrown up, will uh, be the last attacks on the Yamato before she's able to withdraw to safety. Uh, we'll see if that's the case or not. But that devastating Japanese uh, submarine attack on the Enterprise is something that uh, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated with. We'll have to see how we play out, but we likely have to withdraw the Enterprise from the theater. And uh, that may mean this is our last shot to get the Yamato before uh, before the Enterprise has to pull back and, and we kind of have to regroup. And that may buy the Japanese the time they need. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll pick things up next time. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.